Tunisia is the fifth biggest phosphate exporter in the world, and the north of Gebe is home to one of its chemical plants. It's a phosphate refining complex that transforms phosphate into fertilizers. Although the plant has helped to reduce the rate of unemployment in the area by providing job opportunities, residents are accusing the factory of polluting the area. During this process of making fertilizers, thousands of tons of industrial waste are pumped into the sea, with devastating consequences. The beach and water have been become so polluted that fish and other species are dying. One of the plant's engineers says the company is aware of the problems and intent on reducing the negative impact it has on the environment. There is a water treatment plant over there putting in around 10,000 cubic meters daily. We'll recycle that water for our phosphoric acid production. So God willing, that 10,000 cubic meters will be saved from the beginning of next month. The plant exports the fertilizers it produces to international clients. Abdurrahmed al Haj Belasem says the plant needs to continue producing to fulfill its contractual obligations. Referring to recent protests by local people that resulted in the plant having to close, Belasem says it damages business. When a client comes to collect the fertilizer and he finds the port closed, there are penalties that the Tunisian chemical group has to pay. However, the fact that business is good at the plant is no consolation for the local fishermen. They say their livelihoods have been ruined by the poisonous waste that goes straight into the sea. The fish used to come here where it found seaweed. It would settle and reproduce. That's when we would work. People used to catch a lot, more than you can imagine. Since we've had the factory, the seabed has become muddy. The fish don't stay here anymore. They leave. The mud is phosphate. It's polluted. Another fisherman says tourists no longer visit the beach and locals are also staying away. In summer, we can't enjoy our beach. We're poor people. We can't take our families to the beach to swim in the water. We're deprived of the sea in all areas. In 2010, the plant produced one million tonnes of phosphoric acid, deemed a record year. But after the Arab Spring, losses were incurred. Local people started to protest against the plant and the social unrest that followed blocked the transfer of phosphate from Gafsa to Gabe. No one knows what the future holds for the fishermen. They have received some compensation from the plant, but they say more still needs to be done to save their local environment and restore their businesses.